How can you get out of the aquarium filled with spiders? <laughs> oh my gosh! How do you get the ball? <laughs> okay, it's now stuck on my hand. So one of these envelopes has a ton of money in it. Which envelope should she choose? DG Trash! <laughs> ow, ow. What is up guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Box. Today we're gonna see if Justin can solve some crazy riddle. Justin will now be showing several different riddles. If he can guess the answer to most of them correctly, he gets to play a special game with prizes at the end. Let's go. Okay, let's see how many of these Justin can get right. And before we get into that, guys, it is Cyber Monday. This is the last final day of the huge sale that we have going on right now for the merch. What? It's literally the last day you can get everything at the way discounted price. So go check out the merch. It'll be linked down below or click the card up here. This is the last day. So if you have not already bought merch, you want to get it. Today is the best day to do that. Cookie says, you're on sale. Cookie <laughs> says, how does it feel to be on sale? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and let's get into the first riddle right now, which is this kidnapping riddle. Oh, man. Okay, this is going to get pretty intense. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, a crazy chemist kidnapped ah! and locked you in his lab. Uh, He's going to experiment ah, on you. This is creepy. Okay, you managed to get out of his office taking three pills away with you. Okay. Each of them works for 10 seconds and gives you a superpower. So the green pill gives you super speed and regeneration. The red pill gives you invisibility. And the blue pill gives you the ability to fly. Okay. You have to pass through three doors. One door has a vampire, one has a werewolf, and one has a psycho with a chainsaw. A psycho? Which pill will you use to pass through each door? Oh, man. Okay, so we have a green pill for regeneration. Okay. We have a red pill for invisibility. Okay. And we have a blue pill for the ability to fly. Okay. Okay, now, what pill will you take for each of the monsters? Let me think very hard. Okay, so there's a vampire, there's a werewolf, and a chainsawing crazy man. Mm -hmm. So what do you think we should do? Getting a little bit hungry. Do not eat the Justin! <laughs> I am now invisible, can fly, and have ultimate regeneration. Really? I'm going to pass through all three doors together. Really? Yes. Because the pills only last for 10 seconds, and in the time you spent laughing and bragging about it, the pills already wore off. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. Try and fly. I will whap you with my invisibility. You won't even see it coming. I can see you, you right even now. You can't see me right now. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. You're right here. No, I'm not. Stop. <laughs> I will fly and whap you. Really? With an invisible whap. Really? Somebody put the Roblox sound in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will give you one more chance. So we have these again now. The green, the red. Justin? Yeah. Stop eating the pill. Why? Try and solve the riddle. Right. Try and stay focused. What would you use to get past the vampire? Now, the vampire 100% is going to be regeneration. Because he's going to try and suck my blood. But if I can just regenerate the blood, I'll never run out. Boom. Interesting choice. Now, how would you defeat the werewolf? You have the ability to fly and invisibility <laughs> left. Easy. I would take the ability to fly. That's a little puppy. Little pupper. So you would fly over the werewolf? Yes, and he could do nothing about it. Okay, which means that you have invisibility left over for the chainsaw crazy man. Yeah, he crazy. He got a chainsaw so he can't hear me because the chainsaw's on. So if I'm invisible, he doesn't know where I am. My brain is too big. I'm taking back my M&M's. Okay, let's see if Justin got that right. For the vampire, you would take invisibility. Okay, so I'm immediately <laughs> wrong. If you take the flying pill, he'll turn into a bat and catch you. I knew that. If you take regeneration, it'll heal the bite. But you still become a vampire. Cause That's a va not how that works. When a vampire bites you, you become a vampire. That's not how that works. How do you know how that works? That, no, Are you I, a vampire? because no, I read all the Twilight books. <laughs> and I watched all the movies. So I know so you're about an, uh, vampires and werewolves <laughs> and psychos. I know about all three. So you think watching Twilight makes you an expert at this? Yes, it does. Who did you watch Twilight with? Your mom? Your mom. <laughs> I had a Team Jacob shirt on the whole time. Uh, was my mom Team Edward? Yes, she was. Yeah. That's why I don't talk to her anymore. <laughs> Dude, you don't become a vampire if one bites you. That's how it That's works. That's a werewolf. No. This messed up. <laughs> For the werewolf, if you become invisible, 
invisible, he'll smell you. Yeah. If you would choose regeneration, you may still turn into a werewolf. Wait, so you fly. Okay, so I got that one right. So with the werewolf, you want to just fly over it. I got that right. So you got that one right. For the chainsaw man, you want to choose regeneration. Why? Because even if he cuts you, your injuries will heal. That does not make any sense. If he cuts your arm off, you'll regenerate it immediately and you'll be fine. I got this one wrong. Yeah. You don't know anything about vampires and it shows. Maybe if you wouldn't have spent so much time eating M&Ms, you would have been able to solve it. That might be true, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that riddle was actually pretty cool. It's pretty creative. I'm gonna write my own version. Wait, so at the end, you're gonna have your own riddle and if people get it right, you're gonna DM them? We might DM some of them, yes. Okay, but first we're gonna move on to the next riddle right now, which is this tricky love riddle. Uh, <laughs> Maybe love is tricky for people <laughs> like you. Really? Not for me. Really? Because <laughs> yes. you've had a lot of girlfriends? Oh, all kinds. You're not lying to me right now? Uh, no, I'm not. Name one of your girlfriend's names. Uh, Donetta. Just <laughs> uh, show the riddle. Okay. So this riddle starts like this. Two boys were in love with the same girl named Anna. One of the boys was smart and the other was cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's identical. <laughs> Anna liked both of them and didn't know who to pick. Oh man, she got options. <laughs> she came up with a plan. Okay, she decided to ask the smart one to make himself more handsome and the cute one to come up with something smart. Wait, this is messed up, man. That's what I mean. What kind of challenge She's is like, this? She's like, yo, you're really smart, but <laughs> could you like not be ugly? Could you glow up, please? <laughs> and you're kind of cute, but you dumb. <laughs> the smart guy just wore nicer clothes for their next date. That's a high IQ play okay. right there. He combed his hair. He looked pretty good. Okay. Now, the cute one came up with a riddle. What word is spelled wrong in every dictionary? Anna didn't know the answer and went to the smart guy who solved it right away. <laughs> what is the answer? <laughs> I'm gonna solve this one right away. <laughs> really? No, I need to think about this one. Okay. What word is spelled wrong in every dictionary? Maybe call a friend for help? That's a good idea. We're gonna phone in a friend. A girlfriend? Yeah. Wait, one of your ex-girlfriends? Yeah, I definitely have lots of those. <laughs> Cookie, maybe take the call for me. What's she saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Cookie says she did not pick up the phone. <laughs> no! What word is spelled wrong in every dictionary? Now, if you get this right, that means that you're both smart and cute and you get to take Anna out on a date. I'm going to ignore the fact Anna is an imaginary character <laughs> and treat this like a matter of life and death. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm actually suited up because I'm like this smart guy in the riddle. I got to glow up. I got a nice suit. I'm going to comb my... I'm gonna comb my hair. Oh, because so look... the smart guy was ugly and then he got hot and then he was able to solve it. Yeah. So maybe if you get really cute, you'll be able to solve it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. As a smart person, I'm gonna pull out an actual dictionary. Boom! Inside this dictionary, there is a word that is spelled wrong. Wait, really? I'm actually gonna get the answer right here. Wait, no way. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fools! They have spelled this wrong. It's clearly spelled spelled like that. The answer is thick. I'm locking that in. I'm buckling it up. So you think the word that's spelled wrong in every dictionary is thick because it's supposed to be spelled with two C's? That's a hundred percent what I'm gonna lock in as the answer. And if that's not the answer, I'm smashing your phone. <laughs> okay, let's see what the answer is. What word is spelled wrong in every dictionary? The answer is the word wrong is spelled wrong in every dictionary. <laughs> no! Don't, ah, don't do it! Ah, it. Ah, I'm, I'm gonna come in with my diploma! Justin! Ah, 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 trash! Ah, ouch! Ouch! Okay, Justin got that one wrong, and we can go to the next riddle right now, which is this hypnosis riddle. Hypnosis? Yeah. Harry came on the famous hypnotist show. The hypnotist called him up on the stage. Uh -huh. So there's Harry. He said, imagine yourself in an aquarium full of venomous spider. I don't like this one already. You have a screwdriver and a lighter. How can you get 
out of the aquarium filled with spiders. This makes absolutely no <laughs> sense. You think you can solve this? Oh, I'm 100% <laughs> sure. And in order to do that, I'm going to run a real life simulation algorithm. <laughs> so I'm actually going to come in with an aquarium. Adam, get inside. Okay, this is going to help you solve the riddle? Yes, it is. Okay, Adam, now through some very advanced technology, I'm going to hypnotize you. <laughs> Stare deep into the magical instrument I have. That's a donut on a string. No, it is not. <laughs> I'm going to put you into a spell. <laughs> I'm going to put the audience into a spell. It's called being hungry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you a screwdriver. Be careful. Okay. And a lighter. Okay. okay. Be very careful. Okay. Take it. Okay. And now I'm going to fill it with spiders. Ah! Okay. Ah! I have forgotten that Adam likes spiders. <laughs> <laughs> so he would probably just sit around and play with his new yeah, friends. Yeah, that's not bad. This man is a sociopath. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Adam. My initial guess is people who like spiders do not be offended. I would take the lighter and I would set all the spiders on fire. No, because then he would burn up too. I would set them on no, fire. No, no. Yes, I would. Justin. Yes, I would. I would set the spiders on fire and then I would take the screwdriver and smash my way out of the box. You think that would work? What are you gonna do in this situation? You're the one in it. You gotta solve this. No, you're the one in this situation. This was to help you solve. I know the answer. Do it. I'm not gonna solve it for you. You solve it. Take this. Take this. No, no, Justin. I'm put this spider into a spell axe. Oh my gosh. Okay. You broke one of his legs off. I figured out the answer. Wait, that actually helped you solve the riddle? The answer is very simple. How did you get out of the aquarium at the end, huh? I stepped out? Yes. He's just under a spell. All he's got to do is wake himself up, and then he'll get out of the aquarium. Duh. Okay, let's see what the answer is. How can he get out? Stop imagining. And then he's fine, because he wasn't even in the <laughs> aquarium to begin with. On one end, I'm very happy I got that right. On the other hand, that is the dumbest <laughs> riddle I have ever heard in my life. Okay, Justin got that one right, and we can move on to the next riddle right now, which is this pink. Ping pong riddle. Huh? Okay, so you were playing ping pong with a friend. Uh huh. Accidentally, you dropped the ball into a plastic underground pipe. Huh? You have a tennis racket, a bottle of water, and a shoelace. How do you get the ball? Okay, let's pretend the ball fell into the hole. Uh huh. You have a shoelace, uh huh, some water, uh huh, and a ping pong paddle. Okay. How do you get that ball out? <laughs> Little do you know, I have very good manual dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's now stuck on my hand. If I dropped the ball in the hole, I would take my paddle and cover the hole. I would take my shoelace. I would attach my shoelace to a donut. Wait, you don't have a donut in the riddle. <laughs> I always have a donut with me. What are you talking about? Okay. I would hypnotize you and say, Adam, give me back my ball. Do it. Done. I can't get it either. You better do it, just Dumbo. A, just a hypnotizing me. What would I do differently? Use that big trunk and get it out. You will now tell me the answer to this riddle. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to... <laughs> what well, was Okay. After that, I'm going to whap you <laughs> with this donut. Okay. You haven't even touched the water bottle that you have in the riddle. That's in case if I get tired from all these attempts to get out the ball, I can just drink some water. <laughs> okay. So the ball is underground. You don't think it, the water bottle has anything to do with the riddle? No, I just told you it's meant for hydra- Oh! Oh! What? The ball is floating. Uh-huh. Ping pong balls float. Uh-huh. So actually, the answer is you drink the water and hypnotize no! him and make him go for a swim to no! get the ball. You were so close. What do you do <laughs> to get the ball? Show me. You were so I, close. I will hypnotize you if I have to, Boxy. <laughs> Stop. Do it. Hypnotize him. That's the other riddle. Okay, what is he doing? 
Boxy, are you trolling? <laughs> they just poured my water down the underground pipe. How dare you waste my water, Boxy? I will now hypnotize you. He was trying to help you. Now my ball is still stuck, and I have less water to drink. So, I'm now so going to phone another friend. <laughs> yes, Kooky. Kooky's actually going to hypnotize me this time. Okay, to increase my intelligence, Kooky, how do you get it? Kooky's also pouring in the water. Oh! Oh! That's how you do. You pour water in there. Is that nice. your answer? Thank you, Kooky. Boom. Only Kooky told me the answer. <laughs> okay, let's see what the answer is. You're supposed to. Pour the water into the underground hole. It will float up, and then you can grab Let's the ball. Go! So you figured it out. Okay, that means Jazzy got that one right. Okay, you've gotten two right and two wrong. This is the final riddle. If you can get this one right, you win. Okay, I don't know how it always ends up like this. Here we go for this rich woman riddle. Oh, man. Okay, a rich old woman believed her daughter Anna to be stupid. What? How you gonna think your old daughter is stupid? <laughs> when she died, she requested her lawyer to challenge Anna's intellect. She left three envelopes with an enormous check in one of them. The money's in them! Yes, in one. Okay. In only one. There are three messages on the envelope. Okay. One of them is true, and the other two are false. Anna's not allowed to touch the envelopes, and she only has one attempt to find the correct one. Oh, man. What? Okay, so which envelope should she chew? So one of these envelopes has a ton of money in it. The other two are empty. One of the envelope is true and the other two are false. When money's on the line, it's crunch time. <laughs> so I brought these to help you. So these are exactly like they are in the animated Okay, riddle. okay. One is true and the other ones are false. I'm gonna use the green one to keep track of which one I think is true uh -huh. and the orange ones for the false ones, okay? okay. The first one says there is no check. That has to be false because Anna's, unless Anna's mom is true rolling and this is the real one then she just had no money i don't think that's true this has to be false there is a check somewhere the check is here the check isn't in the second one if we assume through deductive logical reasoning that this one is true if this one is true and the check is in here then this one has to be false the check isn't in the second one then this doesn't make sense if this was false it would mean the check is in the second one the check isn't in the second one so it's not here here, so it's in here. The check is here. Wait, they both work! <laughs> this riddle's scamming me! Are you sure? Yeah, they both work, don't they? Oh. Guys, if you're able to solve this before Justin, you are an actual genius. It's this one. It's gotta be this one. Okay, so let's go through this one more time. There is no check. That's false. You're saying there's false, so there is a check. Yes. The second one, the check is here. Yes. Which means that one's right. Yes. The check isn't in the second one. If that's false, that means it is in the second yes. one. Yes, even though this riddle is logically flawed, it's the second envelope. Okay, let's see what the answer is. The third statement is true, which I, at this point, I don't even know what you get. No, guys, answer. seriously, though? Okay, answer my riddle in the comments at the end, but also leave comments how you think this riddle works, because I'm being serious here, which is pretty rare. This riddle's messed up. You guys think about it. I literally don't understand. This riddle's wrong, but at least I got my dog. Ah! <laughs> so that means Justin technically got that one wrong, ah! which means I won. Let's see what my prize is. Comment below some prizes you want us to have next. Let's go. No, wait. I have a riddle for the audience. Oh, yeah. This time, it's not going to be a verbal riddle. It's going to be visual. I'm going to put two pictures on the screen right now of Boxy. Okay. I need you guys to tell me how many differences you see and what they are. Spot the differences. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what my prize is. I'm gonna put the audience into a spell. It's called being hungry. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Okay, if Adam wins, he can eat donuts with Justin. Oh, we can eat donuts together? Okay. This is my last donut. Okay, well, I guess I did it then. Hey, I'm gonna take this pill for mm. super strength. I'm, I'm gonna take my donut. <laughs>